Hi guys, Monday again. Uh, so, um, at the weekend I went to the car boot sale. Um, but I won't do a, a car booty uh, video this week because I only got one thing and that was this. Um, so it's, um, I'm told, an Intel i7. Uh, it's on a, what's this motherboard? Asus H, H61M uh, dash V, which um, I just nipped quickly onto the internet at the car boot sale. And uh, I can see that see there is second or third generation uh, i7. Um, it's a bit interesting because there's there's no power supply in the in the case. It's uh, you can see uh, some flaps and things missing. It has what looks to, it says hot swap on it. So this looks to be like a removable uh, caddy. Uh, but I thought it was quite interesting because uh, somebody's just cut the wires off here. Uh, let me get a torch. Uh, see if you can see it. Yeah, <laughs> so it seems here rather than actually unplugging the lead, they just chopped the wires off. I'm guessing whoever couldn't actually get this off here. Um, so whether that's any use, I don't know. It has some sort of GPU in here, but it's only a little one. Um, I very briefly uh, at the sale just just. Uh, looked under the heatsink just to see there is a CPU actually in here because it wouldn't be the first time I've, I've bought something where it says like an i7 or an i5 uh, and then it turns out that actually it's, a, actually it's an i nothing yeah <laughs> it's an i nothing because there's nothing in there yeah. so it wouldn't be the first time so you know I, once bitten twice shy yeah i mean first time yeah you get caught out you get caught out again for the same thing well you're a bit stupid aren't you really so uh, yeah so that's what we have so um let's just go on to the overhead camera and uh let's see what we've actually got here um i paid him 30 euros i i, I didn't want to I paid her actually the same person i bought quite a lot of the other stuff you've seen me fix um didn't really want to pay that much but i thought well you know, if anything else, I'll just get your money back and it makes a, a good video for the channel, you know. Uh, I had a look on uh, eBay and I can't actually see these motherboards. Uh, I couldn't see myself. But similar ones seem to suggest that the board is like about £35 English. Uh, and then we've got the CPU and the graphics card. So, if we can get it working, I mean, it may or may not be working. She actually says it does work. Uh, but as soon as there's no RAM fitted, and there's no power supply in there. I'm not exactly sure how she knows it works. Yeah, there's no side on the case either. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go over to the overhead camera. Let's just have a look to see what we've got here. Yeah, so this, this is the machine. Um, let me just move this other camera off to one side slightly. Okay, so uh, th this is the item. Uh, so this is the big reveal as to what actually what CPU is in this, yeah? Uh, Obviously, he says he's well. I know he has a CPU. I had a look. There's definitely a CPU under here. Yeah. So let's see. It's grubby. <laughs> it's grubby. It's not dry. It's got a uh, yeah. So uh, find a bit of ketchup. What sticker? Let's go to clean this. Let's, let's see what we've actually got. Yeah. What what do we have here? For our thirty euros. Alright, we have. Oh, it's third generation. I7-3770. Uh, I don't think I have any third generations. Uh, if it's not worth a lot, I'll keep that for my stash of uh, CPUs for testing other motherboards with, yeah? I7-3770, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a bad capacity. Does that come off here? Well, these have like solid, you know, like the polymer uh, type capacitors here. I don't know. It's come from somewhere. So we, uh, it's 16 volt, 2200 microfarad. So if it's come from anywhere, it's off the 12 volt rail. Okay. It's obviously it looks quite grubby and corroded in here. I think uh, what we'll do is I'll just uh, pause this video. And I'm going to take everything out of this case and then let's have a look to see what we actually have. And, yeah, see what we've got. Uh, just before I do that, by the way, <laughs> can you see how bent this is here? This, this board, it's like that. And, and this graphics card, 
it's like it's curved like a banana to some extent so I don't know how that can be um, but it doesn't look like it's boards it's really at that end so if something isn't lined up I don't know okay let, let's get it apart let's see what we have okay so this is what we've got um, this is obviously just the, the front panel uh, for the USB sockets uh, somebody's been chopping wires here yeah um, no good but I'll tell you what if I take it apart it might be worth just uh, just salvaging the sockets off this because they may come useful for something so that's for salvaging a couple of bits yeah uh, this is your switch um, with the, if you have, if you haven't already got one, you know, uh, just an on-off switch for plugging onto motherboards when you're working on them. Just keep hold of something like that, yeah. Just just you know, just plug it on. Uh, useful, unless you've already got one. Uh, uh, bit of junk. Uh, a bit more junk. <laughs> How we compare it? Junk. Um, Samsung DVD ROM. Nothing very exciting. It's a shame somebody's chopped the wires off this. I don't know why. It's a little uh, hot plug. Uh, it says hot swap ATX. Hot swap, yeah, IDE. Not IDE, SATA, sorry. Stick a SATA drive in that and just whack it in there. Uh, I might find it useful that around the workshop, and to be quite honest for myself, I can probably actually solder wires to this you know and uh, it's not something you can sell it probably isn't worth anything anyway but it might be worth me keeping around the workshop that actually so yeah uh, I'll keep hold of that uh, just a regular cooling fan and we're down to the sort of nitty gritty now so uh, this is a AQ Prox AC Prox or something like that uh, yeah AQ box looks like it might be a USB 3, a little PCIe USB 3. Very dirty, wants a wash. It might work. Um, I don't know what this is. It's a little, obviously a little graphics card. It's filthy. Um, on this, it just says Eton, E T O N. Can you see it here? Uh, e T O N, E T 866. Let's have a look what that is. Yeah. We know the processor, i7-3770, and we know the board, uh, Asus H61M-G. So let's have a look see if we've got anything uh, here worth having, yeah? Let's go on to the, on, let's go on Tinternet, eh? Let's go on Tinternet and have a look. Okay, so what will eBay say about it? Um, AQ Prox. Let's just see what it is. AQ. There's no part number that I can see. Four USB PCIe. See if we can find something like it. Yeah. See if we find something a bit like that. Expansion card as well. Suggest it's worth about ten pounds, nine pounds, ten pounds. Yeah, looks similar to one of these things. Looks like looks a bit like this top one. It's not the same, but yeah, as as, as a, a little bit of value, nothing much. It's just graphics card, Eton ET eight six six. I don't know what this is. Can't be anything very much. E T eight six six. One moment. Sorry about that uh, visit at the uh, office, but there we go, it happens. Okay, so yeah, uh, let's have a quick look what else we got. So, um, we have the motherboard, uh, which is the uh, Asus H61M-G. Let's have a look see what that might be worth. Uh, let's go to eBay again. Yeah. 
when I looked yesterday, I couldn't actually find this this, this uh, motherboard H61. In fact, let's leave it here. Just put the model number in H61M dash G. That'll do. I'm just going to pick up the uh, gigabyte one, so let's put Asus in as well. Let me see, I don't find any. Um, that's a completely different board. H61M. It's similar to this one, I would say. Yeah. Looks a bit like that one. Well, let's say it's 30 to 30. Yeah. It's similar to a lot of these, but not the same. But it's worth maybe 40 quid. 30, 40 quid, yeah. Uh, CPU, that might be worth a bit more. I7 uh, dash, uh, what was it? Um, 3770. CPU, oh, bingo. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's the 30 euros, assuming the CPU is good, even if the motherboard isn't good, or I can't fix it. Uh, we're not going to lose that on this one, yeah. Uh, that's quite nice. Uh, what's this graphics card? I have no idea what this thing is. Uh, ET86S. See if it finds anything. Hmm. Probably something like this, you know. Probably something like this. It's got a uh, HDMI on it. Uh, let me see what actually that thing is. Uh, so it's Eton ET866. What is it? What's this? Oh, there's a Spanish eBay. <laughs> really? Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure it was the same thing, you know. Yeah, it's a radio and something. That doesn't surprise me. No, these are like not the same thing, are they? Uh, Eton eight six six. Come on, come on. Really? I don't know, I need to look into that. I, that's to see what this really is that I have here. Um, yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if it's actually works. Yeah, that's probably the, the next best thing, isn't it? Does, does, does this actually work? Oh, it's filthy. Here's the graphics card. Um, yeah, let's get uh, let's let's get the uh, power supply and uh, let's make a few checks first for shorts, and let's see if this actually works. Okay, let's just give us a quick clean and then um, I'll just uh, dust it off into the bin, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll uh, try it. Yeah, after we just check for some shorts first, don't want to uh, damage the CPU if there's a short in the in the V core uh, high side. Uh, let's see what we have here. Assuming the CPU is any good, I mean, I don't know what condition this thing's in. Uh, the lady told me it was working. Let's say how she knows that, I don't know. Okay, so CPU's in, so from uh, 12 volts on V core, we should see a high resistance. Uh, yeah, high resistance. Otherwise, we would have seen the resistance of the CPU. This would be ground, yeah. So there's no high side short. Uh, we can just check the low side as well. Um, probably the easiest way to do that is to go from uh, the coil, one of the coils to ground, yeah. Yeah. That's right, that's reading quite low. I'm guessing that's the resistance of the CPU, yeah. Being an i7. Uh, what's this? Huh. Huh, it's a seashell. Seashell. Mm, I hope the CPU is good. That was quite a bit low. That resistance. Let's see what it is. Let's just uh, let's just take this out for a moment. Yeah, socket all looks good. CPU looks good. So I'm guessing now we'll see just uh, a high resistance. Uh, v core to ground. Yeah. 
So that 1.7 or something, that's a CPU. Um, I'm not familiar with uh, i7s of this generation. Uh, it doesn't seem unreasonable that it would have a fairly low uh, DC resistance. So uh, it's not a short. Yeah, ground to. Uh, okay. We'll see. Okay, so there's no shorts. Um, let's uh, just balance our uh, heat sink on here. I'll leave the RAM out for now. I'll just uh, connect the uh, power supply. Let's see what do you have. Um, four way. Uh, Four in there. That's, that's power supply in. I'll get the uh, post analyzer card. Out of my drawer of uh, goodies here. Yeah. Uh, let's find the post analyzer. Post analyzer and power switch and speaker. So hopefully I'm actually I'm going to want this to be bleeping. Yeah, to tell me there's no RAM fitted. That's what I'd like to hear. With some bleeps. So let's go uh, to uh, there. Um, set the yeah, be the PCIe ASUS. I'd probably have to put it onto the TPM header. Let's just try it without it for a moment. Let's just see what actually happens. Yeah, um, make sure the desk's nice and clean. Nothing under there to worry about. Nothing under there to worry about. Okay. That's not short into anything. All we can really do now is power this up and see what happens, yeah? Uh, I'll need to just get a power lead for my uh, ATX power supply, of course. Okay, so I, I do have uh, the ATX power supply put into the power now. Just very briefly as well, let's just check for any shorts on the other voltage rails, yeah? 3.3 looks good. 12 volt looks good. 3.3, 5 volt, looks okay. Uh, 5 volt standby, looks okay. Yeah, that looks. Uh, oh dear, what do we have here? Can you see this, guys? We have a broken SATA connector here, actually broken off the board, and it looks like two of the pins are shorting. Uh, let's just zoom that down so you can see it. Yeah, you can see it here now, yeah, so this SATA connector is actually broken. Uh, I'll just uh, make sure that none of the pins are actually touching each other. It looks like the first two were, uh, but no, they're not, so there's no shorts there. Uh, I'm fairly confident we can replace that, um, if that's what the problem was with it, to be honest. Um, let's see if it actually boots up, so let's just zoom it back out. Okay, yeah, she's ready to go. Uh, no point in putting the monitor in yet, because I haven't got uh, any RAM on this. Um, let's see if it actually uh, boots and bleeps, yeah? See if it boots and bleeps. There's a little speaker. There it is. Okay. Let's see what it does. Oh, put the, uh, just put the heat sink on there for now. Power's on. We powered up. It boots. And it bleeps. No RAM. Okay. Just uh, stick some RAM in, eh? Let's put some RAM in here. Now, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Connect the monitor. Okay. Power on. Booting. Do we get anything on the screen? Let's have a look. Okay, let's see if we've got anything on the... Oh, it bleeped once. That's a good sign. Yeah, there we go. Asus. There we go. So it's booting. Hey, that's good. So um, i7 3770 at 4 gig, 3.4 gig. Uh, new CPU installed. That's interesting. I wonder if it just lost its settings from previously. Because that was obviously a very dusty old CPU. What was in there somewhere before? If uh, somebody's put that in it. 
<laughs> it's a nice little CPU that. Uh, let's just check the CMOS battery, see if... Uh, see if we've got any uh, CMOS voltage. No, nah, CMOS... Oh! Yeah, 3. Point, I can't see it, can you? Yeah, 3.2 on the CMOS battery. Okay, guys, I think we've got a good motherboard there, uh, and quite nice uh, for what I paid for it. Um, I will um, make this onto another video. We're going to have to replace this uh, SATA connector, and I think we'll do another little video for that. So, uh, yeah, it turned out to be a car booty. Uh, I think you'll all agree this is going to be a profitable one if we can fix this problem. Uh, and I will see you all soon on the next video. Uh, we'll try the graphics card as well on that one. And maybe try this thing as well. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you soon.